something is up. You have this gut feeling that your person isn't faithful. Or maybe you're scarred from a past relationship and you want to make sure you aren't being bamboozled by this one. Whatever your situation is, it's time to go through these 15 cheating guilt signs to see if your guy or girl may be playing you. If at least half are relatable, you've got a problem on your hands. Number one, they are cuddly in person and distant in public. A serial cheater is always on the lookout for another chance to cheat. They want their options open, so they aren't going to risk looking tied up in public. That's why you may get their cuddly, cute side only behind closed doors. In public, you're a homie at best. To this channel though, you're a day one. Hit me with that thumbs up to show some love. You know I appreciate you. Number two, they are never on their phone when they're with you. This sounds like a good thing at first, but it can be very, very bad. We shouldn't be on our phones when we are spending quality time with our boyfriend or girlfriend. But let's be real. In most relationships, you'll spend a lot of time together. So there will be moments when you check your phone. It's just a part of life. If they never have their phone on them, it's because they're keeping it out of sight for a reason. Number three, they hide their phone screen from you. On the flip side, if they do have their phone on them, cheaters will make sure you don't see their web of lies for yourself. That's why they'll check their phone turned away from you, take it into the bathroom, or use a privacy screen and then put it face down when they're done. Typical. Number four, they take their calls in private. Some cheaters are so dedicated to their side piece that they will also run to their beck and call. This means they'll answer calls from their side piece when they're with you, but step out of the room to keep both of you in the dark. Number five, they answer vaguely when you ask about their day. On the days you don't see a cheater, they'll probably be cheating, but that's not what they'll tell you. They'll just say they had a fine, normal day when you ask to keep you off guard. Just like my ex who told me he was home on a Tuesday when I later found out he was actually with his side piece at a fancy restaurant. Nice. Number six, they freak out if you surprise visit them. One thing a cheater doesn't like is a pop-up visit because you may pop up as they're popping on someone else. Yikes. Even if you don't catch them, they will flip out so you don't surprise them again. And they will just say it's because they don't like surprises. Lies. Number seven, they take hours to call you back. A dedicated man or woman will return your call as soon as they can. And if they know it won't be for hours, they will have the courtesy to shoot you a text. Cheaters will be too busy sticking their tongues where they don't belong, so they won't see your missed call until they're home hours later. Number eight, you find something in their car or room that belongs to another guy or girl. The earring that wasn't yours or the hoodie that is way too small for you. And it's not their siblings. Something ain't right. Number nine, they become overly defensive when you ask where they are. There's nothing a cheater dislikes more than being backed into a corner of their lies. When you start to dig, they'll get out the weapons and become the most defensive human on planet Earth. Seriously, there could be a documentary on their behavior. Number 10. They accuse you of cheating. If a cheater starts feeling bad about what they're doing, they may also get paranoid that you're doing the same thing to them. After all, they want to protect their ego, so don't be surprised if they suddenly start accusing you of cheating when you are behaving the same as you always have. Number 11, they make a drastic change in their appearance. Suddenly, they're wearing a new perfume or paying more attention to their style. They don't attribute this change to any mindset shift or reason because the reason is another person they can't mention. Number 12, they get extra affectionate out of the blue. Cheaters who feel guilty may also start love bombing you to make themselves feel better. They could start pulling out the big compliments, getting you gifts, and being extra affectionate out of the blue. Number 13, they start comparing you to others in a bad way. Contrarily, cheaters may also start to distance themselves by putting you down. If they start comparing you to others and making you feel less than, it's a no for me, and hopefully for you too. Number 14, they start finding fault in everything you do. 
Cheaters may also start picking fights about anything and everything you do. This is another way of distancing themselves from you because they are getting closer to someone else and don't know how to healthily sever ties. Number 15. They're great at changing the subject when you talk about your concerns. A true cheater will not be able to have genuine discussions about your concerns. They will gaslight, make you feel silly, and even guilt trip you for bringing up your worries or suspicions. Getting cheated on absolutely sucks, but staying with a cheater is 10 times worse. Whatever happens, I hope that you see yourself how I do, as an amazing human being worth of all the love in the world. As always, thanks for watching.